Okay, roast chicken so tender you can cut it with a carrot. Our next <laughs> guest says yes. He's the inventor of the Hispanic Vertical Chicken Roaster. Please welcome Denny Spanik. Good to have you with us. Hi, Hi thank Denny. you. Hi, right sure. so Okay, well, this is... There's the Our chicken. chicken. You just roasted the unveiling. it. Okay. These are the carrots. Is, is this going to work? Oh, this is well, awesome. We're, we're going to let, let, let me see if I can give you the right instruction. Okay. Under the wing and push. Come okay. on, Spencer. You, oh, or, oh, well, okay. Under the wing and push. Yeah, Go under the wing and push down. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look how juicy it is. And I'm going to hold this up if you don't <laughs> mind my hands. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it's just dripping. Can we get a close up? Look at it, it's just dripping. And he with did, juice. And he did slice okay. it off with the camera. All right, now, Spencer, come on over this side. Under okay. the wing. Under the wing. I'm going right, to hold the top for you. Let's turn around so the camera can see it as, okay. I, as I do this, right? Okay. Go ahead. Right. Okay. Just Under the wing. Yeah. And push down. Oh, and, my god. And I did gosh. that with my left hand. I'm right-handed. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Now, and, then, and then what you do is you uh, on the shoulder here. Right. And then I'm going to let you do the other side. Great. Come on, Spencer. All right. Okay. Come on. Don't be afraid. All right. On the shoulder. <laughs> And just push down. Push. Oh, oh, I see. I yeah, see. Gently right. down. Gently down. Yep. Got you. Okay. Got you. And then you push down that side. Unbelievable. That is the tenderest chicken I've ever seen. You're slicing. You're pushing. Yeah. Now, Denny, where did this technique come from? This is oh, an old family. Oh my gosh. Uh, and look at this. All you have left when you're done. Yeah. And you have to just pull the skin off. Is the carcass. Oh. <gasps> it's pretty impressive. I have to eat some right now. Yeah. And look at this. Go for it. Go. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm the designated eater on this show. <laughs> No, wait, isn't that cool? Tell me about this technique. That is so juicy. Is that good? <laughs> you like it. That you is like good. It. How, yeah, how did this it's come the about? It's the Everything's, the magic's in the rack. And it was my mom and dad who actually invented it. I'm from Paris, France. Right. And the vertical roaster was kind of done after the Eiffel Tower. Right. Which is right over here. Okay. And my mom was a cordon bleu cook in Paris. Mm. And when we immigrated to this country, she just wanted to really change the flavor of the chicken and put the moisture in it. The accidental part was the actual searing on the inside. That was actually discovered and explained to us by a Dr. Hanfling on the peninsula here in Burlingame after my mom opened a restaurant. That's where the words cauterization and searing and all that came in. The carrot thing was for me to show how simple it is. Wait, well, quick, why is vertical better? I would think that all the juices would like sink out. Well, well, exactly. The wire here is searing the inside of the bird and all the natural juice that's in the chicken stays in the chicken. You're cooking it from inside out. Uh, the heat of the oven's cooking it from outside in and the juices have nowhere to go but so the bubble get, under the skin. Inside, right. So when I took this invention back, after my mom had passed away, back right. to France, the master chefs went kind of fruitcake over the juice, right. you know, that was underneath the uh, chicken. Right. So we started doing different flavors and all kinds of things, <gasps> and that's where Poulet Passport came from. Let's talk nice. about flavors uh, next, right? Yeah, let's do because we're, we're going to come back with Denny Prepare, delicious chicken with all different kinds of international flavors. He'll show us how. Stay tuned. Yeah. Can't wait. Right. Right. And later, House Dr. Lisa Quinn brings us tips from a gardening pro. Make your garden vibrant with hassle-free plants.
Okay, we're back with Denny Spenig, inventor of the vertical chicken roaster. And Denny's going to show us how to add a little international flair to our chicken. Poulet passport, as my wife calls Poulet it. Poulet passport. <laughs> so what do we do? We, you've already put ours on the vertical. I've already put yours on there, but I'll just show how easy this really is. And basically, you just take your chicken, and you just, the roaster does all the work on the searing on the inside. This one, the eight-wire frame. Now, if you don't get this part, you're going to blow it, so. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. That seems simple enough. <laughs> okay. And then you just push this through. The wings. That's now, what you do is you have a relaxed bird. This is my relaxed bird. Okay, this is my prim and proper bird. In New York, I do a faster bird. Depending what part of the world you're in, you know, as far as what you're doing. But let's 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 get under the skin. Here's what okay. here. That remember the juice that was under the skin. Yes. yes. I showed you that naturally. You did. Right. The wire, you know, sears it all in. Now okay. the natural juice is there, and the chef said, oh, "Now we can put different things under the skin and it actually go." So what you guys are going to do is take one chicken right. and go to two countries. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's pick do a it. country. Well, what, what countries do we have I got, to choose from I got here? little English crumpled blue cheese. Here. Here. Okay. That, that was the Queen Mother's favorite, actually, uh -huh. at the Connaught Hotel. Right. I have pepper here, a little salsa. You can mix salsa in there if you want. That's I just what, diced Latin? up some pepper. That's a Latin okay. type of thing. I have Provencial with garlic and, you know, just onions and mushrooms. What's yep. that? Okay. What country you is that? You can use any kind of mushrooms. Spanish? That could be Spain? anywhere. Oh, okay. That could be anywhere. Okay. Uh, you know, teriyaki and orange. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. With a little I'll bit take, of ginger. I'll take the, little, the uh, Latin flair there. Okay. okay. We'll okay. Take, 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 take the little bowl. Okay. I'll do the teriyaki and ginger. Okay. So, so now, what do I do? Well, what you do is you just loosen the skin here. Okay. Okay, and just slide it down All to right. that one side. All right. There's a little natural divide in the middle of the go. bird that keeps the two halves separate. Oh. oh okay. So what you're doing is they will never mix. Skin. And just push it all the way down. Don't be afraid. Right. And then massage it down. There's like a little pocket oh, yeah. there. Just oh, like, yeah. like a... Massage like the bird. Massage the bird. Massage, 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 massage the bird. There oh, you go. Baby. Massage the bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy bird. Okay. Now okay. you got... Okay. okay. And, and then all you do is just sprinkle a little seasoning on it. Okay. And you can get the seasoning to adhere just by simply, you know, moistening it down with just a little water. I can't believe we're doing this. Okay. A little water in the bottom of the pan. And okay. you have just gone to two countries of the world. Wow. That's, that's so just cool. Like that. and, and how long does it take to... To cook? You're, you're looking for the chicken about 12 to 15 minutes a pound, depending on the weight. You know, right. like the chickens come three pounds to 4.5 pounds or eight pounds, somewhere yeah. in there. So, you know, 12 minutes. I, 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 with, with everything coming out so juicy, yeah. run an hour on a four and a half pound chicken and you're perfect. And, okay. and you apply the same technique to other uh, things. Other well, you know, there's a turkey size. This is the 10 wire frame. Whoa. You know, Whoa. this is the biggie. That cuts the time virtually in half. Point right. to those other ones. Then I have, then I have the uh, uh, game hen size. Uh -huh. right. And then this is the one for artichokes. Which I invented with Maurice Casalis, uh, oh, Julia oh. Child's mentor. Let's leave and, it oh, there. Oops, yeah, sorry. Point. Yep. And then this, this is the. Uh, it also does broccoli and it does cauliflower and artichokes. Wow. How cute. And potatoes. And potatoes. <laughs> Look at that one. Well, here, so put, put the potatoes on the side of your chicken. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That, that way you're cooking things at the put same time. Put them in the oven together. Uh, there you go. So, uh, look, look, do we get to taste this? Uh, you want to carve that one up? This fine creation right. here. Let can me I take this gloves off. Oh no, you actually here. Here. Can we switch? I don't yeah. know if we can switch. Yeah, let's, let's put it right here in the middle. middle. Let him okay, carve let's this. switch. Okay. Switch. I'm, I'm hungry. All right. All right. There we go. This one I'm gonna do just for the essence of time. Okay. I'm gonna slice this one down <gasps> a little bit. I'm shocked at the juices. <laughs> she loves the juices. Look at this. I just it's like it's like homemade homemade chicken. Um, Chicken noodle, chicken soup, right off. Okay, I'll take, gonna, some, take a best. slice of the breast. I was gonna keep it for myself. But. Uh, you take the drumstick here. I, I no. work, I Carve work. out the wishbone. Okay. Okay, it's not ladylike, but who cares? A Lo little bit of the breast here. Mm. How is that? <laughs> I can't believe how juicy this is. Thank you so much. Hey, you're going to be at the Artichoke Festival. We're going to be at the Artichoke Festival this weekend in Castroville. Yeah. Okay, and for more information for these recipes, just check out our website. And where can we buy these vertical roasters? Well, you can go to good quality gourmet cookware shops and P&W stores down in San Jose and Sur La Tables and, you know, those kind of things. So. Thank you so much. Great invention. It's yeah. awesome. Thank you. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. Well, wow the crowd at your next barbecue potluck, Chef Bruce Adels is next, and he whips up two dishes that will jazz up any run-of-the-mill gathering. And Brazilian versus Laser. Absolutely, Audrey looks at which is best when it comes to personal grooming. That's on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah.